Hi, I'm Brad Pfeffer from Sugar Research Australia. In this cane clip, we're going to hear from Greg Shannon from Tully Sugar and Felicity Atkin from Sugar Research Australia about the new varieties that have been approved for release for Far North Queensland, SRA 6 and SRA 7. Well, the two new varieties that we're releasing this year, SRA 6 and SRA 7, uh, they're both uh, high yielding with moderate to low sugar content, but compared to the major, two major commercial varieties that are grown predominantly here in the north, they are actually more productive in terms of um, sugar yield. Well, even though they do have a lower sugar, sugar content compared to the other varieties, they are high yielding varieties, um, so that compensates for the lower sugar, and they do um, appear to have better attainability than the other commercial varieties as well. Uh, so compared to Q208 and Q200, which make up about 90% of the northern region here, these two varieties are more productive, have shown higher productivity in our variety trials compared to those two commercial varieties. Uh, but six and seven are very special because they are a photo period cross, which means it wouldn't have been possible before, that technology, and they are bred in Tully and Innisfail Babinda Mulgrave, so very hopeful in particularly SRA 6 because it is pachymetra resistant and that is a big issue for Tully. It's one of our big issues is pachymetra root rot. We've surveyed the, uh, the Tully Sugar surveyed the district in 2013 and before that BSCS did it several times, three or four times. And we know pachymetra is a big issue for Tully. It's, it's potentially taking income off us or potential yield off us and affects cane quality. So uh, we need to get more resistant varieties into our system, but we can't just take a resistant variety on that alone. It has to have other qualities uh, of yield and, and uh, good presentation for the harvester and so on. And we're very hopeful that SRA 6 will fit that very much. In the past, as I said, we've, we've got blanket approved varieties or varieties that have been adopted from other regions, and that's been going on for a long time. That's not new. Uh, variety Q124, which was a massive variety in the 90s, was bred in Mackay, but it was extremely popular in Ingham. So, um, vice versa for other varieties but these ones we're quite excited about because they are bred here and that gives us half a chance of them being localized already uh, and as I said pachymetra resistance is a really big big deal for us um, we don't just promote a variety because it's pachy resistant it's got to have all the other qualities so yield CCS time of harvest um, if a variety can stand up and is easy to top if it drops its trash a little bit that's a good thing um, we, we want perfection we're not going to get it but we are getting pretty close to being, we are now in a situation where we can recommend growers uh, what they should plant in Tully based on SRA's guide and our own local research, which I said has been done by the mill uh, with the prod board's assistance. Certainly SRA are involved in this process as well and most importantly the growers who give up parts of their farm. We've actually got growers who plant trials for us to do this work, which is so it's a great little team effort. It's a, the whole value chain is involved. And as I said, I've also got the chemists from the mill involved and the harvester drivers. So we're looking at the whole value chain to, it's not just a matter of having a nice crop in the field, it's what we do with it, how we harvest it and how we mill it.